Hello everyone, it's Angela from the Chaotic Life of a Planner. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be planning out the week of July 13th to July 19th. I am going to be using my Erin Condren Life Planner. This is the binder version and I do have the hourly neutral layout. The kit I'm going to be using is by Simply Smith Stickers. This is the farmhouse kit, and I do have the full kit, which I believe is nine pages. So I do have a link in the description box down below to Christine's shop. I also have a promo code that you can use, which is just Angela20, and that allows you to save 20%. And then if you mention my name, you get my special handpicked freebie. So this kit that I'm going to be using is the matte finish. If you watched my video from my daily duo plan with me, I used the farmhouse glossy finish kit. So you can see there are some differences in the kits. They are both beautiful. All right, I'm gonna set the binder aside. So I've done some pre-planning. There's not a whole lot going on this week at this point, um, you know, we have to be available for showings pretty much all the time. And we get like two hours notice. So just because it looks like my week is not gonna be busy, it's a lie guys, it's a lie. All right, so I'm gonna start with this thick washi right here. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put it across the whole page. I'm going to move this one up a little bit and I will do the same thing on this side. All right, there is that. We have had a couple of showings so far. Well, I had a showing today and I haven't heard back yet, but um, I'm assuming since I haven't heard that that means that they were not interested. I guess it was a video showing because the people who wanted to see the house weren't actually in town. So that was interesting. And the realtor was like an hour late. So we had just come back home. And then I was like, oh, you know, I didn't see a business card or anything on the island. So I figured that nobody had come. And then my realtor texted me and was like, um, she's in the driveway waiting for you to leave. So we left again. And then by the time we came back, she was finished. So you're supposed to send feedback, but I haven't gotten anything yet. So we'll see. We will see what happens. All right, so I'm just putting these date covers down right now. These are just individual date covers, which um, make, makes it so that you can easily have your planner start on a Sunday if you need it to, or you know, whatever. I know some people that have, like, if Sunday and Monday is their weekend, then they might have their planner actually start on a Sunday rather than a Monday. I can't believe we're almost, like, halfway done with July. It's just crazy to me how fast time is going by. All right, so there is the last one there. Let's see what else do I want to do. So I'm going to try and use like as many of these stickers as I can this week. So I'm going to go ahead and put my habit tracker down. I think I'm probably only going to need one even though, well, this is actually not a habit tracker. I misspoke. It is what I use to track my steps when I actually fill it out the way it's supposed to be filled out. And then there are two habit trackers right here. So I'm going to go ahead and use both of these. 
I'm kind of still trying to figure out what I want to track in my daily versus my weekly. Um, I definitely am like liking the fact that I'm using both of them. That is working out well. All right, so now I want to go ahead and I think I'm going to use this for my kind of like to-do list for the week. And these are kind of the things that I have to get done. And to be honest with you, a lot of times I just push them from week to week until I kind of come to the end and I'm like, okay, this cannot be pushed any further. It must happen now. And that's kind of where I'm at because, you know, I still haven't done taxes yet and it is tax week. All right, let's see what this looks like right here. Let's see if I can put this little flag. And then the to-do sticker right here. Okay, that works. And the next thing I want to do is cover up this with some kind of full box. I'll probably just use this one. Yep, that works perfectly. I like it. Very good. Okay, so I have a bunch of washi right here, and I was thinking that I might use this one. Just to go across like this. I need to find where my little gray, or not gray, where my little gold ruler went. There it is. Okay. So I do have affiliate links for all of the Erin Condren products that I'm using listed down below. And then I also have a referral link that you can use if you are new to Erin Condren. It saves you $10 off your first purchase. That coupon gets emailed to you, so watch your inbox for that. All right, and then this is something that I don't usually use, so I'm wondering what this will look like. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna try something different. No, I don't really like that. So never mind, scratch that. This is why I like repositionable stickers because you kind of get to play a little bit. And then if you don't like it, you can put them back down. Okay, so there's that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use these full boxes which is not something that I typically do. But this kit is so gorgeous that I just want to use everything. Well, I won't be able to use everything because it comes with way too much, but as much as I possibly can. that is on my page right there but it looks like something got spilled on it which I don't know how that could happen because this book doesn't leave my studio and it stays on a acrylic desk like stand so it's weird okay one more I like the way that looks. All right, so there's that. Let's see, what else do I want to do? I think I'm going to go ahead and put a 
strip of washi up along the top. Maybe it'll be helpful if I flip it this way. All right, there's that one. And then this one I won't even have to trim. It will just fit perfectly. All right, I'm liking it. Let's go ahead and use a weekend banner. I think I might see what this looks like. Well, All right, there's that. Okay, so I think we can get into what I have to put down. I think that will be just fine. So, actually, let's do one more. Let's put this here. I really like this like ultra thin washi. Okay, now th these pages are ready for me to add what we have going on this week, which is honestly not going to be a lot. So let me take just a second to figure out what I have here. Okay, I know that tomorrow... Katie wants everybody with a computer to be ready to go by, I think, a few minutes before 10 a.m. because we are going to try and get tickets for her to drive into Denali National Park, which is not something that you can typically do. This is just um, a COVID-related thing. They like most, the park actually just barely opened. So they are, since not many buses are running because tourists can't really come here, they are allowing people to purchase tickets to drive into the park. The thing about that is the tickets are actually selling out like super quick. So we're going to try and do that tomorrow. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I have these headers. So there's like this week, family important, school dinners to clean, to buy, YouTube, next week, exercise, all of those things. So I'm kind of thinking that I might use one each day for a different like weekly task list. So maybe, let's see, how do I think this is gonna work here? So that one will say this week and that will just kind of be like the, 
I don't know. I'll, let me think about this for a second here. So let's have this one be... I don't have anything to do for school. Actually, that's not true. I do. But I don't want to use that one for school. It's not the right color. So let's do YouTube. Maybe I can put my YouTube videos for the week on here. Which I don't usually do that in this layout. But let's see what this looks like. So there's YouTube, then let's do this pink one, so I don't need exercise because I already track my steps over here. So let's have this one be my dinners for the week, well I don't really. Ugh, I don't want to do that one because I don't want the pink to be on the pink, but oh well, it's going to have to be, isn't it? So this will be dinners. So what I'll do is I'll come up with my dinners for the week in my weekly view. And then I will come up with my dinners for the week in the weekly view. And then when I'm doing my daily duo, I will pick one of those dinners from the list to fill out each day. So I think that actually might work. And then this one will be, let me close. Here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of these. I do like this whiteout um, a lot better than I liked the Bic. That is definitely nice. Okay, let's do to buy right here because this is payday, so I will have some grocery stuff to do. Let's take off this one that says this week because I have the to-do list over here. And let's go ahead and put like, I'm gonna put family right here because I do need to do some things for the kids. Like Katie wants to play a board game this week. I need to mail some stuff for Benjamin. Um, I have something I have to do for Devin, that kind of thing. I think that will work out well. And then let's see, what can I have this one be? Oh, to clean. Definitely, this can be my cleaning list for the week. And then, let's see. Let's do this one, and this one, and then I think it is only appropriate that Sundays be next week. So I can use that for the place to write the things that I know have to get done the following week. So then when I do my layout for next week, I'll just be able to pull from that list. And then let's just go ahead and mark this one with important. And I don't really know what kind of stuff I'll mark there, but hopefully I will if something's important, I will remember that I can mark it there. Thursday is payday. And then I need to pick up Michaela and Lucas from the airport that evening. 
this one. I'm so excited for them to get home. Lucas got his first haircut. He looks so adorable. Wednesday is tax day. Tuesday, we don't actually have anything at this point. Friday, we don't have anything at this point. Saturday, there is a rodeo. I'm not sure exactly what time it is, nor do I know if the kids want to even go. I need to ask them. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the sticker down for that. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and put one down for church because I'm not sure if we will go, but um, because we're not, I'm not sure if we're gonna go camping or not. I'm thinking we probably won't unless we have an offer on the house and I don't have to worry about any more showings. Okay, so there is that. I might go ahead and use this little marquee sticker right here on Friday because maybe we can watch a movie if we don't end up going camping. That will be fun. Let's see, I have this little dollar sign that I can use right there, a little airplane that I can use right there. What else is there? Oh, I can use the little movie camera thing, YouTube symbol, whatever that is. Mm. I can also use a dollar sign on the to buy. Let's put it on this side. I think that's pretty much all of the icons that I can use. All right, let's look at this. Let's see if I can find anything. It's super cute here. This little home sweet home. I love those little pillows. Put that one there. I also love the ball jars. Those are so cute. But I don't know where I can use them. So that's that. I think that's pretty much going to be it for the week. I mean, we just really don't have anything going on. Like I said, Tuesday, there's nothing. But I like the way this came out. This is definitely not my normal planning style, but I think it's super cute. And I actually really, really like it. All right, guys, I think that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please do click that red subscribe button. Please do give this video a big thumbs up. Check out the affiliate links that I have down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.